invention. So I ask a philosophical question, and that question is, can they help us? Can they, they got their own issues. When I go in wards that I go in on the east side, I see as many blighted homes, streets that need to be repaired and all like that. So I hope, and my hope is this, that our three commissions will sit down that we just voted on, and the three commissions, if Cleveland gets that, then we sit down and work out what's best for the citizens of East Cleveland. That's what it's all about. But this is what bothers me. And I need to share this with you. About a, a, almost a half a year ago, I wrote a letter to the governor asking him to come in here to help us. Okay. Keep it in mind that ultimately that's where the money's going to come from. It's going to come from the state. But we've been told mixed messages about, well, if we don't do this, if we don't do that with Cleveland, we don't have the option to get that. We've been told that. But check this out. This was in a plain dinner two weeks ago. I read all the time. It talked about the 59 municipalities in Cobb County talking about this local government fund that Kissing took from us. That's about two million a year that he took from us. And what it was saying that that money needs to be shared with, this, with these municipalities. So if we got a $2.6 million deficit, we're not like Detroit, we're not in the billions, help us. And when you hear about East Cleveland, nobody with, with profound influence is saying anything. You don't hear anything from the Congresswoman, you don't hear anything from the United States Senator, we're in the island by ourselves. Forget these people in East Cleveland. We have good people here. Our intention here, if it works, and Cleveland can help us, fine, but I don't see it. I haven't got anything from them saying that they're going to do this and do that because they got their own challenges. They do. So will we be left to the side? Will we be yes. get what's left over? No, no. So that's what this negotiation is all about. The memorandum of understanding is just a distraction. Okay? <laughs> they don't have to do that. We don't have to do that. But we need help. So if the rainy day fund, when I first wrote the letter to the governor, was a billion dollars, about a year and a half, now it's two billion dollars. So this money's sitting in the bank. So why is the state coming in to help us? This is what we're asking for. If this works out, they're gonna come in and help Cleveland. The money's gonna go to Cleveland, why not East Cleveland? Right. This, these are basic common sense questions that have to be asked. No one is really coming in to help us. We're not concerned about this. The memorandum of understanding is just a distraction. If we need help, we need infrastructure, all that, just like Cleveland does. But if the state doesn't come in to help us, why not? Why would they come in and help when Cleveland gets it, not to help us now? We've already reduced it down to 2.6 million. We're moving in the right direction. We know we got challenges coming up in the next couple of years. We need help now. So why continue? And then when I read the article about the rainy day fund, it was in a paper. It said, and growing. Okay, and growing. So who has a rainy day situation? East Cleveland. Who needs help? East Cleveland. But the amazing thing about this situation is you talk about the powerful people, they haven't said a word. I haven't heard nothing from the Congresswoman. I haven't heard nothing from the United States Senator. We're just left by ourselves. We're not perfect. We're not the only municipality struggling, but we're down to 2.6 million. They can help us. We need help. This what, I've been on this council now for 18 years. I've been through, through five or six mayors. I've been through when we were at our zenith, and now we're at our low. What has happened over the years, we don't have the tax space that we need. If we can get economic development here, we can get some development going. I've talked to the mayor many times about, where's your economic development plan? Where is it? He doesn't have one. Okay, only thing I'm hearing from him is annexation. That's not really the answer. Or bankruptcy. Uh, if, and you know what, the irony of the situation, I'll close on this. If we go through the process and procedure, that's what government is all about, the citizen from Cleveland will, may not even vote to have this. So somebody brought up the term options. We need to have options. If we go through this process, and my gut feeling is if we go to the vote of Cleveland, it ain't going to happen. If the citizen is not going to vote, it's going to happen. So if that fails, do what happens to us? What? Well, now what? Okay. Why has not the state said we can help them? Uh, 10, 20, we 
we really need about 30, 40, 50 million dollars to help us, but if 20 million would tie us over till we can get something done. We got development going on at Superior and Euclid. Uh, Circle Lease at Lakeview is getting ready to do some development. We have the land, we have the location. Now, let me share this with you. We're 500 feet from University Circle Incorporated. Do you hear me? 500 feet from University Circle Incorporated. They're landlocked down there. They don't have parking. They got everything going on down there. They can come here and do the development. But we don't we take them. We want to work with. We want to collaborate. We want to work with people. But we're not going to just fall over and, and die. Yes, so the, the, that member of understanding was just some suggestions. That's all it was. And then the media takes it. And, and, and let's talk about our salaries. I'm going to get it off. Well, the council people, uh, we increased their salaries. You know what our salaries are for? It's been for over the last 35 years. $4,500 a year. Let me say that again. Get that in the media. $4,500 a year. That ain't no money. That you chose was... that. You chose it. You chose it. You can't take it. I'll put it up. You chose it. You chose it. $4,500. And let me put perspective on it. The council people in East and Cleveland make seventy, dollars almost $80,000 a year. So our salaries combined would be half the salary of one council person. I'm just putting it out there. I'm not knocking it. I'm just saying what it is. They made a big issue about they're going to increase their salaries. It's nothing. It's nothing. We don't make anything. We serve here because we want to serve. So if the state is not going to step in and help us, but they're going to step in and help Cleveland, that's an issue that has to really be cogitated on, thought about, analyzed, because it's not right. It's not right. I'm hoping in closing, Keith, that our three commissioners, who we get three people, will sit down with, if Cleveland gets there with their three, and then we can reach some common ground on what's best for Cleveland and East Cleveland. But the question that I ask myself, and I think about it sometimes, I, I, I wake up thinking about it, I say, what is Cleveland going to bring? I don't know. What do they have to offer? I don't know. Those are the questions that need to be asked. Not this memorandum of understanding. We've already taken care of that. Okay? And I'm glad that you came out for this. But we're going to think, and I can speak for the council, and I can speak what's in my heart. We're going to do what we think is right for the citizens. It's because we're not today about no money at all. It's about serving. Thank you. You're really the mayor. You're really the mayor. And I don't want to go there because, because it's negative. But here's a very important issue with the choosing East Cleveland, and you see who's here. Thank you. Don't vote for the commission. All right, thank you. I'd like to thank you all for coming out. I'd like to thank you all for coming out. Many of you were here a couple weeks ago when we passed this legislation with the MLA. And so many of you heard what was put into the record, that it was a wish list, that we wanted in good faith them to try and get some of these things for this community. We hope they say that. Right? <laughs> when we sat out as a council, we came up with some high level ideas of what a good community well-functioning community looks like. And if you look around the county or the state, Slavic Village look okay over there, right? They've got a very strong CDC, right? So some of the things we came up with is high level. We always said we were going to come to you and your ideas, right? And that, that would be a working document. One of the things that scared us, or, or that we were concerned about, last couple of years, we've heard a lot of talk 